R6DS is a receiver with 10 channels. Now I'm going to show you how to do the binding and how to change signal output. Let's take 89S as an example. Power on the transmitter. Check if the green LED is always on. If yes, then we can process the binding directly. If the green one is not on, enter parameter and turn on the RF mode. Then the LED will be always on and the transmitter is ready to bind. Power on the receiver then. We can see that the LED indicator is always on. Long press the binding button until the LED indicator flashes quickly, meaning binding process is ongoing and release the button. So let's now press the button. When the LED stops flashing and is always on, we can see that the a signal tower shown on top of the screen of the transmitter. Binding is complete. There are totally three signal outputs for R6DS, PPM, SBUS, and PWM. We can see that the current LED color is blue and purple, meaning its current signal output is PPM and SBUS. We can see from the sticker pasted on the receiver. If it's the PPM signal you need, channel 1 should be connected, while if the SBUS signal needed, channel 2 should be connected. If we want to change the signal output as PWM, we need to change the working mode. Shop press the binding button two times within one second. We can see that the LED turns red, 1, 2, meaning the current signal output is PWM. Blue stands for PPM and SBUS output. We can switch again to take a look. Press quickly, press two times. And this receiver is compatible with Radiolink transmitter 18S, 18S Pro, and 8010. When using this receiver, if the firmware of your transmitter is the latest, We also need to enter the system menu to check the channel quantity at channel select and change it as 10 channels because it is the ch 10 channel receiver. This step is very important and can be skipped 